Cats are pretty amazing creatures. They are so amazing, in fact, that today we are dedicating myth number three to all you cat lovers out there by addressing this popular veterinary myth. Cats always land on their feet. To put it simply, cats don't always land on their feet because they don't have feet, they have paws. That's it, that's the episode, cut. Okay, but really, contrary to popular belief, cats aren't perfect. Unfortunately, our feline friends can sustain severe injuries if they experience a pretty serious fall. In the veterinary world, these injuries are grouped into an umbrella term called high-rise syndrome. High-rise syndrome is a term used when a curious cat has fallen from a second floor or higher, approximately eight meters to be exact. Injuries that occur range from facial trauma, fractures, and injury to the lungs, just to name a few. And believe it or not, these injuries occur when a cat doesn't land on its feet. I mean, pause. If you live in a high-rise building or top floor, don't worry. Just remember to keep those windows guarded and balconies closed if you find your furry feline getting too close for comfort. The most common types of curious cats to acquire these injuries are young, urban living kitties in the middle of summer. Even animals hate staying cooped up in the nice weather. Now, this is where things get interesting. When a cat falls from less than five stories, they're actually at greater risk for more severe injury than if they were to fall from five stories or higher. How can this be? Well, at higher levels, cats actually have more time to right themselves. In fact, cats actually stop accelerating after five stories. This plateau in speed allows their limbs to relax and their bodies to stretch out, creating a makeshift parachute with more time to absorb the impact more efficiently. Cats are basically flying squirrels or tiny superheroes, either one. Let's go see what all-star staff members think of myth number three. Can I ask you a perfect question? <laughs> Do cats always land on their feet? Oh, good question. Can I take this down now? <laughs> No. Sorry, is this the myth thing? The, the myth is that cats always land on their feet. No, no they don't. Because we um, can see fractures when they have not landed on their feet and hurt themselves. And um, most of them are pretty agile and do a good job when they jump down from things. But no, they do not always land on their feet. Chief, do you want to change your answer? Do you still think you always land on your feet? I'll show you. Come on. He's camera shy today. We'll be back. Hey. <laughs> <She's scared. laughs> Do cats always, always land on their feet? Always. Always. I'm going with always. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know this question. <laughs> what if I told you the answer was no, not always? I can believe that. <laughs> Depending on, is it a height factor? Does it matter on the height? Yeah, it does. So is. Do you want me to tell you more? Tell me more, tell me more. Yeah, actually, cats can sustain greater injuries when it's five feet or, or I'm sorry, five stories or less. So if it's like two stories up, for sure, not good. If it's five stories or higher, actually, they have time to like fix themselves, and then they're like a parachute. It's pretty cool. Okay, so wait, you're telling me that between two and five stories, it's better. So if you live higher up, it's better. Yeah, for the cat. For the cat. Maybe not for your legs when you have to go on the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's so fascinating. I didn't realize that. They call that one scenario the high-rise syndrome or scenario. Yes, that sounds familiar. Oh we God. did. I am so smart someday. We touched on that earlier, fans. Yeah. yeah. To wrap up this episode of Mythbusters, I wanted to leave you all with a fun fact. Cats actually have an internal balancing system called the writing reflex. This reflex is enabled by a tubing system located in their inner ears. Each of these tubes have fluid in them. When the cat's body shifts, the fluid shifts as well and sends a signal to the brain. The brain then tells the cat's head to straighten, legs to go out in front, straighten its back, and the back legs follow shortly behind. I'll say it again, flying squirrels are tiny superheroes. You decide. Just remember that not all heroes wear capes. Thank you all for tuning into this week's episode of Mythbusters. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share with your friends and follow us on Facebook. What popular veterinary myths have you heard of? Let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next time for episode four.